Hi, I'm Mary Middlebrook, and I'm here in Seton's Village, Antigua, volunteering with Adopt a Coastline, and we're doing a series on the mangrove forests here in Antigua. So we're going to have several videos talking all about the wonderful resource that Antigua has in its mangrove forests, what they are, and why it's so important to protect them. So let's start with a little bit of general information about mangroves. There are basically four main species of mangroves in the world that are associated with a mangrove ecosystem. Um, some of those types have subspecies. In fact, there are a couple of subspecies here in Antigua, but let's talk about the four main types that we find here in Antigua and where they're located. So the first ones are the red mangroves. Red mangroves are found closest to the shoreline. We are currently in an almost high tide situation here where I'm standing and these are actually reds and you can see that they're in the water right now at high tide and even at low tide these guys right here are in the water because the tidal range here in Antigua is not very very high. So these guys are the ones that you're going to find closest to the water. Behind the reds going inland the next species you'll find are the black mangroves. All right, so we're going to have a video here in a little bit that's telling you more about the black mangroves because the reds and the blacks are the two that I'm focusing on while I'm here. Behind the blacks, you find the white mangroves. And behind the whites, you find another type of tree called the buttonwoods. And those are also associated with mangrove forests. So the ones that are closer to the salt water have adaptations that allow them to be able to process and handle that influx of salt water into their tissues better than the ones that are further away. So even within a small range you could find all of these trees but they are zoned according to the tides. So the reds are going to find you'll find actually in the subtidal zone so some of the reds will always be in the water because they're below the low tide mark. Um, and then you'll also find them in the intertidal zone, so anywhere from the low to the high tide. But they're always going to have some sort of contact with salt water as the tide fluctuates. The next ones that you find inland are those blacks. You're only going to find them at the high tide mark. They don't want to be inundated most of the day. So as you have a, a, a coastline here, and let's say my elbow is the low tide mark right here, and the tips of my fingers are the high tide mark. So as the tide comes in, the highest it'll reach normally are my fingers. As the tide goes out, the lowest it'll usually reach is my elbow. Everything below here is always underwater. So you're going to find those reds out here below my elbow, always in the water, or anywhere from my elbow up to my fingers. The blacks, though, don't want to be submerged all that often. They can handle a little bit of being submerged, but not a lot. So you're only going to find them at the high tide line because as this water moves in and out, you can see as my hand, my hand is the water, as it moves in and out, you can see that that high tide area only is covered in water for a short amount of time. That's where the blacks are. Now the whites are going to be behind those blacks. They don't want any contact with the salt water, right? And then the buttonwoods are even further back. So that, those are basically the four trees that make up the mangrove ecosystem here in Antigua. Now let's get a little specific and we'll learn about some of the particular species. <laughs> 